Hey, 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 YouTube's, how's it going? <laughs> today, today, today. Hmm, let's do a little bit of Storm Mesa. <laughs> let's uh, check out our team, see what we got going on here. You guys have seen my heroes. Let's try a few different setups so we can play around, get a better feeling for things. I love Dragon. Dragon makes sure things die fast enough. Santa, he's fine and all, but he's not really needed for Storm Mesa. He hits hard, don't, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't proc that often. So let's, um, uh, hmm. We could throw Pixie in to keep other people alive to guarantee us a victory. That does help. Pixie's not a bad hero. We could also throw in um, the Frost Switch to make sure the boss gets slowed down to a standstill. Blah, we could throw Ice Demon in to do it to all the heroes across the board. So I just got Ice Demon to 7 of 9. So let's give him a try. Vlad Dracula, he's fun and all, but mm, really, we could do without him. We could do without a Vlad Dracula. He's not really needed. He he hits like a truck, though. Don't get me wrong. He clears out the pro he clears out the you know the mess. So mm, well, maybe maybe we might keep him in there. Definitely need a Pumpkin Duke because we gotta make sure our Pumpkin Duke can uh, get everyone back up to speed really quick. Um, so, question is, do we keep Vlad in or do we get rid of Vlad? That is a, a good question. Hmm, Vlad or not Vlad? That is the question. Let's remove him. Let's try seeing if we can do it without a Vlad. Uh, let's see what we're going to do here. Because I'm trying to make it so we stay alive and really do well. Range ranged, Pumpkin Duke. We're gonna want Pumpkin Duke to proc more often. He's gonna be our heavy hitter. If he procs right away, that's best. But he might die. That's that's the biggest concern I have about Mr. Pumpkin Duke. He could he could just decide to die. But our druid has revived, if I remember correctly. So let's go with this setup just to see what it does for the slow debuffs to try and guarantee that we don't lose any Storm Mesas in the public environment. We're not doing it with, you know, friends and guildies. We're doing it with randoms, random pugs. So let's uh, join a team and let's see if we can find something. So we got some people here, uh, decent numbers, not too horrible. They need to move around though, hopefully, somewhere useful. Got a pumpkin duke here, got a pumpkin duke there. This person's just standing still. They're most likely not even by their phone, so gonna back out of that. Gonna have to, unfortunately. <sighs> 131 in group. Scary, but eh, no, 140s in the group. Man, those are some low numbers there. 180s, can, us two 180s carry the uh, 131 dude. He's got, he's got a pumpkin duke, so eh, meh. Blat. Vlad, I can say, well, uh, hopefully, see, the problem with this dude going on this side, is there's a spirit mage over there, so he's probably going to die, so we've got to carry the group without him. If he pulls the spirit mage, we're toasty. Simple as that. That spirit mage Brox, we is it dead. Okay, here's my pumpkin duke is tanking right now, which is not a good thing. So there we go. We got the slows down on everything now. Uh, so everything should be moving extremely slow. Look at that. Look at the board. <laughs> Let's make them go slow. <laughs> Let's make sure they don't uh, proc it too often. Look at his. Look at his axe. <laughs> We're slowing that sucker down. How about that? I don't even care what they're doing there. We're gonna. I think we did lose one of his guys, so that's something. But. So far, we're pretty much keeping it. Let's take a look at this uh, center boss. Let's zoom in here, see if we can see him. There's a lot of action going on there. Okay, so he's targeting his axis. Man, a lot of stuff on the board. So you can see his axe swinging slowly. Not perfect yet, but he's definitely going slow. Look at the how. Look at this. This guy is frozen in place, man. <laughs> 
Uh, until we get stunned. Watch into, now here we go, we're getting some stacks again. This guy's gonna be moving nice and slow, look at that. Uh, slow, to the point of nothingness. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're doing to these people. We're gonna slow them down to the point where they do not to us. We're trying to guarantee our victories and make it easy for everyone else. Uh, so he does do some damage, you know, and that's uh, overall. We're just trying to make sure we do right for the group. So we got the witch that's also freezing stuff and slowing it down. Let's take a look at his axe swing here. It's still hasn't moved yet. His axe has not moved yet. He's still trying to walk to get to the hero that he's targeting. He has not swung his axe. He has not made it to the person that he's actually trying to hit. It was arranged. It looks like he's going after the dragon. Do you think he's going to make it to the dragon? The dragon is here. The boss is there. Dragon, boss. Boss, dragon. You're never going to make it, are you, dude? <laughs> Fail, blog, dead <.org. laughs> <clears throat> Basically, we kept that guy frozen in his tracks. So I do like a nice little slow setup when I'm doing pugging. When I'm uh, basically looking for random groups for Storm Mysa. So I, I like slowing them down to a, a standstill. To the point where it's just a joke. So plenty of pumpkin dukes here. Dude, we're, we're heavy on the pumpkin dukes. You, you, you're good. You're just There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> we got enough pumpkin dukes here. <laughs> he's also got a damage buff on this thing, so... <laughs> he's gonna probably lose that, unless it's got revive. Nope, no revive, it's dead. But, our damage should be going through the roof at this point. The boss should be... Look how slow that hex is going. Doosh. Come on, gonna swing again? There you go. Eventually it will reach. <laughs> uh, yep. So we are definitely slowing stuff down. Look at over here. Everything's slowing down to a standstill. Yep. That's what we're looking for. Look at the main boss here. Ooh, we got a group going off on their lonesome. <laughs> Look how slow it's going. <laughs> We got the 2D buffers over here, and they're ranged. How long is it going to take for that boss to get to their target? Look at this. Look at this. These guys are by their lonesomes. They're a blue and a green by their lonesome. Is there a druid in there? I'm seeing a green bolt. They're pro Man, maybe there's a druid in there. <laughs> but look at it. That boss is not even going to make it to him. I'm gonna move really slow. It's like I've glitched the game. That guy is not gonna make it to his target. Look at that. <laughs> We've glitched the game, man. That dude is not making it anywhere. Come on. There you go. You're gonna eventually make it to the hero you want to target. Just go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Come on. Look at this. Isn't this funny? He's not gotten a chance to attack. He's just fighting three things. And he hasn't proctored or done anything. Oh, no, don't go to them. Come on. That team had it. You didn't even have to do that. That was overkill. The same thing with this hero here. He has not had a chance to swing yet. See this uh, boss? That axe has not moved. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we did it. Oh, uh, overpowered. I love it. Makes it easy for the victories. Makes it easy. So... Pumpkin Duke with uh, <laughs> some good ice demon, with a witch, man, with some slowdown crests. <laughs> that combination is a little, yeah, the boss doesn't like it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? That boss never even made it to the, the group of like three heroes there, I think. I think it was Druid, Witch, and Ice Demon, so yeah. I think it was Doge. Three that just basically took on that boss and just laughed at it. It didn't even move. It was like... It was like stuck in a standstill. The joke. Okay, people. Are you going to move to your positions? Can't have you spawning in the middle. Can't have you spawning in the middle. You got to be in a corner. Got to be in a corner. 
got to be in the corner. You got to be mid. You got to choose one of those. You can't. This person's. I think we've seen that guy before. That Bundy dude. He's not actually there by his phone. So or computer, whatever you're playing on. So let's do it again. We should be able to uh, repeat this process over and over and over again, and then get some loots. Loots? What kind of loots? Treasure chests. What kind of treasure chests? The good kind. The kind that we really like. So I did a quick render last night of the uh, treasure chest for Lost Realm. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a 3D render of the treasure chest spinning for when we do opening of loot chests and stuff like that. So we're going to have some 3D art for that too. I'm going to try and show you guys a little bit of an example of what I mean, what I'm talking about for the chest. So there's some cool uh, artwork that I got from uh, Cinetech or Cinetech. I mean, what are they called? What are they called? So lots of cool stuff there, as you guys just saw. Some uh, different sketch fad people that uh, I'm going to do some shout outs to there. So a little quick look at the notepad there. Just trying to get some shout outs. And I will be uh, leaving those links in the video too. It's usually better to show links as in text that you can follow too, just so you can give credit to the correct people. So we got uh, Simitech. So that shall be cool. So C I M T E C H, Inc. So yeah, okay, come on, dudes. Eh, fine. I'll let it spawn there. That's probably a bad idea. We probably shouldn't do this one because we're probably going to die because of this group up here and this group down here. Oh, there's those. Yep, there's our death. You, this is why you don't want to spawn on that side. There's a spirit mage there. There's a spirit mage here. Spirit mages are bad. So if you're going to join a group in the bottom corner, join on this side. And if you're going to be joining a group on the top, join on this side. So join here and here. And for here, you go uh, here and here to stay away from Spirit Mage. It's bad for you. So there, we lost one. <clears throat> and I should have just backed out because I knew it was going to be an issue. But it's good to show people so they understand why it's a problem, why it's not a good thing. So, if someone's down here, if you spawn over here with them, it can be good. See, this person understands. This person yeah, doesn't understand as well. There is a spirit mage there. They could pull aggro on the spirit mage. Potentially, depending on how they set up their heroes, could get a spirit mage. So this group down here, we should be fine, unless we get a spirit mage proc. And there's that proc I was talking about. They did kill it in time, though, so that's good. They do got a Reaper, so they do need to get some AoE damage coming out here. And that Reaper did... Oh, and a Lanacore they procced. Man, we're not getting enough AoE damage here these days. Oh, we're dying. And that Reaper got a good chunk of shots off, too. Oh. There are things that are deadly. Usually you're pretty safe. Um, if you got some sort of AOE damage over here, looks like this person didn't uh, have what they needed to have. It looks like we are not going to do the amount of damage that is needed and required to beat this, right? Uh, it depends on how many people died up there. We definitely had enough dust down here, though, and that evil Cupid. <sighs> Look how slow the boss is moving. Oh, we might still be okay because the slow amounts that we're doing on the stuff, they're not getting to the boss to do the damage roll. They're getting to it now. And this is going to hurt us really bad here. This pumpkin duke is going to do some damage. And that pumpkin duke is going to proc over and over again. Wow. Okay, so horrible, horrible run. Man, bad luck. No. Hmm. Hug runs. It's much easier to set up stuff with other people that you know and what they have. Okay. As long as this person isn't pulling the 
beer manager, fine. This person's probably AFK, though. Because you don't see him moving. You haven't seen him moving. This same person is probably AFK. Away from keyboard. Decent numbers there. And we got two Pumpkin Dukes. But that guy isn't even by his computer, is he? Nope. That guy's not by his computer, so we gotta back out. It's gonna just waste time. Uh, this looks fine. I'm okay with this. No, I was okay with that. That group would have worked. Fine, fine, fine. Everything there looks fine. People should be looking at me and seeing some dragon action there. As long as this person has AoE, they're fine. They gotta do enough AoE burst damage to kill off the Alanacore. This side you gotta make sure you don't... So each side has their own problem. So this person just needs to do enough burst AoE damage right now to kill off that Alanacore. There we go. That's all that's needed. Now let's take a look over here. Now we're getting to the point where we're slowing down the boss. Let's take a look. I love watching the boss just at a standstill. And this is at the 7 of 9. Wait until we get that blue sucker up to a 9 of 9. He's going to be a, annoying them. Now we are keeping these guys slightly silenced as well. So it's potential that we could slow the boss and have him silenced at the right time because there's an Ares in group. Nope, we did get stunned there. Oh, that sucks. The Ares went off at the wrong time. I believe these guys are affected by Ares. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think they are. But it's not like it matters. Look at the damage and look at everything else. This is a victory. A victory is ours. Pugging Storm Marsha. Can be interesting, you know. It's something you gotta do every so often. It's, you know, it's there. Each there. It's what we gots to do. Can't get away from it. Everyone's got to do it. So, about dead. The rest should clean up fairly quick. Oh, come on. That stun should not have hit us. We only lost two heroes. We should be fine. Uh, this group is going to be a little bit annoying. We might lose these two guys. Depending upon if we can get some slows going on here. <laughs> that spirit mage is cranky. Doesn't matter though. We are doing enough damage on this to jump over to there, to jump over there. It's all golden. It's all good. It's all good indeed. So we're bouncing around now at this point. We should be able to get all our kills. Santa's doing a fairly decent job of tanking, surprisingly. And not too bad. Three losses overall. We're doing okay. So really not getting any good chests though why is that i'm looking at uh, what our rewards i'm just i'm thinking about like come on man on my smurf i just ran all the storm maces on my smurf i'm like getting some decent rewards on my smurf and i can't get some good rewards on my mine okay let me tank down here by myself people i can handle it all by my lonesome i don't need anyone to come with me I'm fine. I'm, I'm really fine. I don't. We would never want a three stack because there's, there's. Why are we three stacking here? That's not gonna go. It's not gonna end up well. You're gonna get aggro on the, <laughs> on the stupid thing you don't want aggro on. Uh, that's not gonna go well. Come on. Come on, people. All right. So, pugging is always interesting because you never know what you're going to get. Eh, this guy could tank it on his own, I think. As long as this guy doesn't pull aggro from the spirit mage, we should be fine. That guy could tank the middle boss, or did he pop up to the top there? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, pop to the top. Ugh, oh, Spirit Mage aggro. Like I said, Spirit Mage sucks. Look at everything on the board, though. Look at everything on the board. Every little hero that's out in the board. Just look at it. Take a picture. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> They're moving slow. I love that. Though we are going to be bouncing around because stuff is not dying. We don't have any AOEers in the group, apparently. So this group of three are coming into the R. So we're going to leave the final boss to be final. Which is, you know, not bad. We did lose one, two, three, four heroes. Plenty of time left on the board. We should be okay. Should still be a kill. Theoretically, we can do this. All right. First batch in, looking good. That boss is moving slow. I think it's going for one of the ranged heroes. I think he's going for a ranged hero. Place bets, can he make it to the ranged hero? Can this boss waddle his fat butt to, I think it's Vlad Dracula he's going after. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Can he make it to Vlad Dracula? This guy wants to go to Vlad. Is he gonna make it? <laughs> oh my God, we're doing ridiculous amounts of damage. He's getting slowed down. <laughs> Do you think this boss here is going to make it to Vlad before he's dead. Do you think he's going to get off a proc? Place your bets below. Can this dude make it to Vlad? <laughs> he's almost at a standstill at this point. I feel bad for him. He has not gotten a chance to proc. That's basically neutering the uh, boss. The boss, you know, his stun is what makes him so deadly. He's not been able to do it. He's not been able to move. You see this? Isn't that beautiful? Plenty of time left on the board. Plenty of time. This guy's dead. And that is somewhat of the benefit of fighting the outside bosses first. You can get uh, some stuff. So uh, let me show you guys that artwork I was talking about. Um, so here's a little quick render of it. So you can see the 3D model there. And it's completely 3D. It's you know fully 3D, bottom, top, side, everything. So you can see that it has all the uh, textures on it. This knob is a 3D texture. This you know little locking mechanism, everything on it. Even these little bumps here are 3D textures. Little everything on it is 3D, 3D. So we can have like a spinning th treasure chest when we open up stuff. So that's gonna be coming up soon. We're gonna have a spinning treasure chest with a no background, it's gonna be completely, so what you can, you can sort of imagine is just this chest spinning, and you can then see the background, everything here, so it's just gonna be a spinning chest. So you can have it like over here or something, or just really big in the center. Let's open up some chests and click that, and you know, we're, you know we're doing some loot fun, like right now, we could go loot and open up chests. Look, we've got loot. Loot is good. Opening up loots. <laughs> So you basically know when we're going for a chest, like there's a chest, here's our chest. That's eh, sort of similar. But remember, this is a really high resolution, like this, you can zoom in on this full screen and it's really detailed down to every little itsy bitsy detail on it. And we're going to go for a full resolution of it spinning. So, but that's gonna take a little bit of time for me to render a 3D spinning of it. And it will look pretty cool. It will be cool, and we will use it as our artworks is. It'll be one of the things that we have going on, so it'll be interesting. Hopefully you guys will like that uh, 3D artwork there for a chest, and I think it'll look cool, you know, and represent when we're doing a little bit of loot. And uh, eventually I will do some, uh, <laughs> oh, some live streaming. And I'll have all this artwork for live streaming. I'll have all this artwork for doing our videos and whatnot. So yeah, this is uh, we're building up, getting it ready. So what are we as well doing? We are trying to level up this tower here, this level f green one here. Get up to five. Got this sucker to five. Five, five, six. Yeah, this zap tower works really well now. 
but also very shortly we got full here be monsters we got to take care of that in just a moment we'll do a quick here be monsters as well right now we're just trying to focus on storm misa i will stop the video make another video for the uh, uh other stuff so we're got lots of videos to do today oy, oy, oy. what am i doing in there storm mesa one Pff, i could solo that i could solo that easily wouldn't even need to worry Okay, so if I go over here, I just want, I would love to do this by myself and have no one else by me. Ugh, you ain't got no AOE, you're gonna get killed. It's not gonna work, dude. You don't have AOE to handle the, uh, well, you're close enough, you hug me. I'm just hoping he doesn't pull a Lanacore. As long as he doesn't pull a Lanacore, he's fine. Looks like he's not so... He can lose a hero or two, and that's fine. Now here's where we're going to do some damage. There we go. There we go. Um, hopefully that thing's got some... Nope. Has revive. <laughs> Dishmish. Talking about work soon, huh? I don't want to go to work. Dang, that thing is just being annoying. That little tower... Look at this, though. That boss would have never made it to him. He would have done plenty of damage to it, but he's going to die due to tower. Death by tower. <laughs> Lulz. And, of course, Santa destroys it after he's dead already. Dang it, Santa. Oh, well. It's not my Santa. I can't blame it. <laughs> it's someone else's Santa. My Santa, I'm trying to come to an agreement with my Santa. He's starting to uh, understand what I'm talking about when I say, don't attack this, attack this. He's, you know, he's starting to get the uh, memo. It's really hard to uh, get Santa to agree with what you want to happen. He, he just seems to be pre-programmed to want to kill himself. <laughs> I guess when you have a rocket launcher, well, it's a little suicide, right? Okay, this is going to come on. I don't know if we're going to win this. Starting to scratch my head here. Do we got enough damage output? And do we have too many deaths? One, two, three. There's probably a death in here. We might not have enough damage output. This is not looking good. Why are we not killing enough? Uh, you heal. That's fine. There's the procs coming here. I hate stuns. I almost wish that we started on all outer bosses and then just went for that final one last. But, oh well. We get the kill. So, as long as we get the kill, we're okay. That's all that really matters is the victory and the treasure chest. I am getting green after green after green after green. Seriously? I was actually thinking maybe I should put like a purple glow, a little purple texture on the chest. Uh, change like the brown color to like a purple going to like paint and like do a little purple touch up on it Maybe make it a purple chest like this little, or maybe put some accents on the gold and maybe make it glow purple and rotate I don't know I was thinking about that. It could be just thoughts and ideas I'm getting a little bit more used to doing the 3d stuff. I'm gonna become better You can see that I got a mini grass uh, that I'm gonna start I'm gonna Got a light texture going on there with it. I'm going to try and get some like little pointy spikes coming out of it with some different color patches and get some brown spots in there to make it look like dirt. So we're going to have some pretend grass. It's going to look real enough. It's, you know, <laughs> how well can we make it look, you know? We're going to put some effort into it. So yeah, I've been doing lots of little 3D work. Oh, I got some someone chatting up. Who should I get rid of for Druid? Why would you want to get rid of Druid? 
What would you want to get Druid? What? Why? Why get rid of Drew? Aspect of the game. For what aspect of the game? Why would you want to get rid of Druids? Oh, who should I get rid of for Druid? Okay, so you got a Druid. Got it, got it. So... So basically, it depends on what you're going for. Each one actually does serve a purpose. Um, you definitely want Santa. You definitely want Vlad. <coughs> I pick usually Immortep over Snowzilla. So Santa, Vlad, Immortep you like. So I'll come back and answer. Hopefully he answers the question the rest of the way and we'll answer it for them as well. Depends upon what you're looking for. It depends upon what you're missing, what you need, and what's going on. Are you talking about Storm Mesa? Are you talking about Rina? Are you talking about TRB Monsters? Are you talking about Hero Trials? Are you talking about there's, you know, are you talking about for <laughs> Demon? <laughs> Here be Demon. Are you talking about Boss? Are you talking about what are you talking about? Which aspect of the game? <laughs> there is everything can serve a purpose in this game. I mean each one of the heroes even like you can see that I got a green and a blue in a group even greens and blues can still do something except that there's one hero that I can't think of anything for it to do other than just die and I think everyone knows what I'm talking about when I talk about that particular hero it's a green hero and it really does nothing and when I mean it does nothing I mean it absolutely does nothing it really does nothing So it really depends on what they're looking about, what they're talking about. Because you can see blues are still quite useful. You can see this blue is freezing everything on the board. All these little heroes are becoming a joke. A joke. A joke. Bouncing around here. And we should bounce to this other group over here. And hopefully... Nope. He was going after a... Uh, if he was going after a range, that would have been better for us because we the boss would have taken a while to get to him, but he was actually going after our melee. Uh, oh well. Still cleared up a good chunk of the board already. This boss is going to drop fast enough. And yeah, we're going to work our way around. So it's going to be, I think, a victory. We don't really have too many pumpkin dukes on, on board, though. Is it just one pumpkin duke feeding the group or two? See one here, there's a two, there's a second pumpkin duke, a third pumpkin duke, so there's three pumpkin dukes, we're fine. Plenty of time to kill this and this one last little boss stuff. I think we're going to get it at the uh, 40 second mark maybe. Mm, 40 second mark, 50 second mark, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there, 40 to 50. So I guess somewhere in 40 to 50 range. And we just made it under 50, as long as we don't go under 40, and I don't think we will. There we go, almost 45 on the dot, so yep. I'm getting better at guessing this stuff. So, let's see, this person did send us some chats back. Oh, I just rolled Aries, grats. But let's take a look at your race and see what you're talking about. Oh, you're a brand new starter account, and you're rolling all sorts of stuff. Got it. Ah, uh, Gretz. <laughs> so, Gretz. Gretz. For HPM, we would go for Vlad Santa. Let's see what he's got. He said Vlad Santa. Druid, Vlad Santa, Druid, Immortep, and Snowzilla. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Or maybe he can even get an Ares in there because he needs to level up his Ares. Thunder God. I, you can get rid of that Thunder God. Congrats. Congrats. Let's see. Thunder God and right now <laughs> I would need to know this final hero so that he ends up with it. And right now, I would say you should go for uh, put uh, Thunder God and Ares and Towers for right now. And so that's what I think right now. But then I got an Aries and Towers and leave the rest on the board for HBM. But we did our Storm Mesha's. We lost two, unfortunately. It did suck a little bit. Uh, we did lose two. Oh well, oh well. And they were predictable that we, we should have known we were going to lose them. So I should have backed out of them. One I think I did on purpose because I wanted to show you guys. The other one, I, I should have known better that it was going to be a loss. But, you know. Oh, well. God, man. All green chests. All green chests. Let's get unlucky there. Unlucky indeed. So, Storm Mesa. Some little tips and tricks. I do like using some greens and some blues when doing uh, Storm Mesa in combination with some of my other heroes. And that does usually get me a better chance for that. Okay, cheers. Congrats. Hopefully that helps you. If you get other heroes, you would want to put those other heroes in. For example, you get a dragon. You definitely want a dragon on the board. Example, you get a Cupid. You definitely want a Cupid on the board. You get a Pumpkin Duke. You definitely want a Pumpkin Duke on board. So you might would ha you might have to then get rid of Immortep. You might have to get rid of Snowzilla and throw them in towers. And then just push as fast, as hard as you can in Here Be Monsters and get yourself up. Here be monsters is the greatest way to level and then get your heroes up and get above 10k might to then start getting inscription. Inscription is so important. You get inscription and God, the game just changes. You can easily beat whatever the heck you're looking to beat. So, all right, have a good ones, guys. Have a good ones and see you shortly. Have a good ones, have a good one.